In this video, I'm going to show you how, if you're running a Minecraft server, how you can add the Forge mod to it and uh, update your server to be a, a Forge server. So let me show you how to do this. Uh, what you have to do is um, download the JAR version of the server instead of the EXE version of the uh, Minecraft server. Download the Forge package, and then we'll just I'll just step you through how to uh, use the instructions that are on the Forge website. So here, if you go to the um, Minecraft download page here, um, you normally I, when I'm not using a mod, I'll use the Minecraft.exe. But if you're using a server that you want to uh, either use more memory with or mods you need to download this one the minecraft server dot jar uh, once you download that and uh, over here on the minecraft forge wiki um, you need to download the um, universal forge zip file here and so i've already downloaded those two you're also going to need a, a a zip program and i use the free program called 7zip so just in case you don't have that, I'll just type 7-zip in Google here, 7-zip, and you can download the, say, the EXE version of that will be fine. Download that and install it on your computer. I'm using Windows 8, but this should work the same in Windows 7 or, or Windows XP, either one. Once you've installed 7-zip and you've downloaded those other two files, here's my uh, Minecraft server uh, directory. And each time I download a new version of the server, I've been downloading the EXE version, but you can't mod that version. So you can see here, I've also downloaded the Minecraft Forge Universal um, jar and the Minecraft server jar. So I'm just going to download that into the same folder here. Now let's look at the directions uh, on the Forge website. Here and I'll just show you how how to do what it says to do. It says to open open your Minecraft jar file. You're going to open that with 7-zip and open the universal zip file. Drop the contents of the zip file into the Minecraft jar and then delete the meta inf uh, which belong with Mojang. So let's just do that uh, following the instructions. Let's go over here to my folder. So we're going to use 7-zip to open up the Minecraft server.jar file, and you see it has the little 7-z icon there. Just double-click on it, and what that does is open up that uh, zipped file in within the 7-zip program. Now, we're going to do the same thing. Let's just move that folder over here. We're just going to double-click on the Minecraft Universal uh, Forge folder here. Okay, we've got that. Now we want to click in the Forge window. I'm going to hit Control A to select all those files. We've got our um, our Minecraft server jar here. So let's after we hit Control A, I'm going to just drag all of those files over and drop them into the other window here. It says, Do you, "Am I sure I want to copy files?" into the Minecraft server jar. Yes, I do. So now they're all there. And the other part of the instructions here on the Minecraft Forge site says, delete the files in metainf, which be uh, begin with Mojang. OK, so here we are, where we copied all those files into the Minecraft server jar. Go to the metainf and download. It says, delete any files that begin with Mojang. I don't see any files that begin with Mojang. So uh, I don't know if we've done something wrong or if uh, we just don't have to to worry about it. So maybe that's if you've already run it, uh, run the server before, you have to do that. So now let's just X out of 7-zip and it should save it automatically or you can click file, um, let's see. Well, it doesn't give any, us any option to uh, do anything, so let's just exit out, and I think it'll automatically update that file. Let's check this, the timestamp on that Minecraft server jar, and it says January 19th, 3.03, and that's the time that we uh, just edited it. So that jar file is ready to go. 
The one last thing that you that you want to do uh, in order to run this server, you have to create a shortcut. And the instructions for this are, are uh, at least the basic instructions, are also on... Whoop, sorry, I closed that page. Just one second. Okay, so um, you, you need to create a shortcut in order to run the Java file because otherwise, if you just double-click on that jar file, 7-zip's going to open it. Um, so here's what I did. Uh, if you go to the Minecraft server download page, they have a little bit of information here about... Um, uh, how to load the server with more memory, etc. Let me show you how to do that with a, a shortcut in Windows. Um, what you want to do is anywhere you want, but I'm going to do it in my um, in my uh, folder. I've actually done it here already. Well, let me do it on my desktop since, since I already have. I just named a shortcut Minecraft Server Run. Uh, right click somewhere in a folder or on your desktop of your computer and go to new shortcut and it says what item would you like to create a shortcut for and we want to create a shortcut to Java so what you want to do in it, at least Windows uh, 7 let's see where it is in Windows 8 go to computer your boot drive program files x86 I believe and then here let me find this Java file real quick okay I'm on a new Windows 8 machine and, uh, and it's located in a different place here so on Windows 8 anyway find your java.exe file on Windows 8 it looks like it puts it under uh, my boot drive program files x86 and there's a file for jo a folder for Java and then go into um, Wait, was it lib or bin? I just found it. Bin. B-I-N. And then find your java.exe executable and hit OK. And so this is the location uh, that it's going to point to the shortcut. Click Next. Um, whoop. Sorry, we need to go back. Um because we don't just want to run Java, we want Java to run that jar. And so, um, in addition to just calling Java, we need to tell it where to find our Minecraft server file. Here's basically what the shortcut's going to look like. Here, let me, let me copy and paste this old shortcut that I had in Windows 7 into Microsoft Word and make it big so we can talk about basically what this is going to do uh, so you can kind of get the idea so um, the shortcut needs to tell the shortcut where Java is this part is telling um, telling Java to use more memory so that uh, Minecraft server will run faster and then we're telling Java to run a jar file and then here we're telling it what jar file to run and so um, what I did is I put this shortcut in my Minecraft folder where the jar is and that's that's eventually what I'm going to do I'm going to move it uh, so we don't have to tell it where that where that jar file is so let's finish this up here so uh, here's the shortcut to find Java and then here, let me make this smaller so I can type everything in here correctly so it'll work right um, dash xmx 1024m that's saying to use uh, 1024 megabytes xms 1024m I'm not sure what the difference between those two are dash jar Minecraft server dot jar. All right, and then next, and short name for this shortcut. Um, I'll just call it run server new finish. Now I have this little shortcut here. I'm going to move it into the directory where that Minecraft server jar is 
And now let's double click on it and let's see if it works. Okay, um, it wouldn't work. Let me let me show you why it wasn't working. The start in folder here was wrong in the shortcut. So what I did, just sorry, let me show you. I don't. I'm I'm not trying to do this to leave out steps. I don't want to bore you, but I don't want to leave anybody behind either. Uh, if you want to edit the shortcut, then you can right click on the shortcut and say properties. And what I what I neglected to do was to tell it which folder to start in. Uh, and so we want it to tell it to start in the folder where our Minecraft uh, stuff is. And so I need to edit this. Instead of starting in the Java folder, I want it to start in my Minecraft folder. And so let me show you how to do that. And so uh, what we need to do is here's, here's our folder with our Minecraft in it. Go up here to the little uh, link that says Minecraft server and right click and say copy address. And then go back to the little shortcut window where we were editing that shortcut. And I'm going to hit Control V on my keyboard to paste that. And so that's a quick, convenient way to type that long address line um, where my uh, link is. But, um, oh, I need to, uh, I must have hit two copies there. Okay, so now let's hit Apply. Okay, and now let's see if this will work this time. If not, we'll keep tinkering with it. And there we go. It's uh, running the Minecraft server. My firewall is trying to block stuff, but I'll tell it to uh, allow access. And it looks like our Minecraft server is running fine now. So... Uh, sorry we had a couple of problems there, but hopefully by having those problems you'll be able to figure out how to do it yourself without having the problems that we did. Um, whenever you run Minecraft server this way, you're going to have two windows that are open. The traditional Minecraft server window, and additionally you have this little um, Java kind of window thing here floating around. And so um, that's one of the things you'll notice that's a little different. Uh, between running the jar file for the server and the exe file for the server. So good luck uh, installing mods on your Minecraft, and I hope it works for you. So this is Berkey Academy signing out. Have a great day playing Minecraft.